How's it going everyone? Um, I wanted to make a short video about all the meals that we used um, in the shorts videos and the reels on Instagram. We've had a lot of people um, have some concerns about the dogs and you know they think using these devices are abuse and they're wondering about the safety concerns. They want to know you know how come they're linked up to it and they can stop on their own. So very shortly I'm going to explain everything. Um, we have a, a carpet mill, which are these two right here, and then we have the slat mill. So, um, first thing that people brought up were the fact that dogs can't stop on their own. But I wanted to show that these things have no motor in or under it. Um, they do have bearings, but everything is self-powered. So if the dog wants to stop and break on their own, they absolutely can. Um, you can't force the dog to run. You know, there have been some people that put the dog in the mail and they try and like encourage it to run by like manually pushing it. But the dog ultimately doesn't want to go. He's not going to go. Now for dogs who love to run in these things, um, that's why we have these, these links right here. And, you know, depending on the height, you might have to like rig it or add something to it. But generally, it's because a lot of dogs will jump on their, up there on their own, and then they'll slide right off and they can hurt themselves. So, uh, what we do is we connect this piece to the collar or the harness and let them free run. Now, some people are like, oh, it's harmful if it's on a collar, he's a harness. Now, that actually depends on the dog's preference. Um, like I have a dog, he loves running with the collar, put the harness on him. He's just going to like slowly walk. Um, and this is up to you and your dog It's up to you. It's up to you to like figure out which works best. If you could optimize the harness, definitely use that. Especially if like you're competing in an endurance competition where the slot mail is one of the few events I get to participate in. Because I do believe it's like less physical stress on them to use a harness. So definitely practice with the harness and encourage them to use the harness when running. And a way you can do that is when you go out jogging or walking. Because I go on a lot of hikes and runs myself with my dogs. Which is how they built up the left to run. Is I'll put that particular object on them to run with it and make it as fun as possible. That way when you put them on here they will run with the harness on. Because you know dogs they understand correlation they're like oh, okay this means this where this means that you know same thing with weight pull harnesses some dogs when you put the weight pull harness on them they know to take slow slow and steady steps to get the cart across the track whereas when you put a running harness on them then they will sprint you know like bog, like bog jory harnesses and stuff like that um another thing people brought up were not so well, with the slap meal, um, they were afraid of the dog's paws getting pinched. Now, I want to show that it's very important, especially for people who plan to get one of these, to make sure that when they hook their dogs up, the front paws stop right here. Um, because the dog, the paws will pinch at this point. But as you see, it gets flat. I like to be safe and just make sure the paws don't extend upon this point because it's flat all the way down, starting from here. Um, if you're, if it goes too far out, your dog can pinch and hurt itself. And we absolutely do not want that to happen. It'll cause some injuries. You have to take it to the vet. And then it just makes it, it just makes the device seem a lot more negative to people who already assume that it's abusive. Um, that's a quick rundown. Now, I, I plan to make a whole nother video about how to teach a dog to run on these mills. Um... It may be a different approach depending on your dog for the slot mill than it is the carpet mill just because some dogs they're okay with a little bit of resistance it's easier for them to like go into you know find their footing on the carpet mill on the slot mill it's pretty easy like little pups can move these things so a dog the first time on the slot mill when they start moving it goes really fast and it startled them so um if you want a video of how to teach your dog how to run the mill uh comment below let me and let me know whether you want it to be the slap mill video first or the carpet mill video first because I don't want to make the, the videos too long. 
and I'll show you like the different ways that you can utilize these things for different dog sports or just health in general. Last thing I want to um, talk about is um, only use these as an accessory. Do not whatsoever depend on these for dog walks. Um, when the weather's too hot, when the weather's too cold, when you're running really short on time, because let's say you got a project or homework to do or you're working a lot of overtime that week and you want to get your dog's mental stimulation in, that's what these are for. That's what I use them for. Traditionally, um, those who have followed me for a long time on Instagram and such, when they saw the dogs like condition, I do long walks. Three mile walks twice a week, then we bump it up to five miles, and sometimes, even with some dogs, it's seven miles a day. Or seven miles twice a day as those who follow me when I was working with Hank and these meals are really only when I'm running short on time you know I get called into work I'm feeling sick and you know I, you know I'm feeling really weak and I can't go out myself that's what these are for or if you're competing in top dog or you just want to build some muzzle for weight pull that's what these are for especially in top dog because they use the slap meal for a two-minute race and the resistance of the copper meal can help build some endurance strength for weight pull or other resistance events you know they have their purposes do, do not whatsoever depend on these um i don't go longer than 15 minutes um sometimes and rarely i ever go that high maybe like five seven to ten it just depends on how much time i have and what else i'm doing that day but i wouldn't go longer than that if i can go if i can put them on the mill for about 30 minutes i might as well have just taken them on a walk and that's how I do things. That's my personal opinion. Um, I prefer the bond. I prefer the going hikes and all that. So that's all I got for you guys. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, contact me through Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. Follow me on Instagram and all those platforms as well. Comment below if you have any questions. Um, feel free to express your opinions. I, I won't be upset whatsoever because I do want people to be open about these things i do want people to express their thoughts that way us in the show in the showing and working sporting community can you know give you guys clarity and show you guys that our dogs aren't really in danger like that so um yeah that's all i got for you guys today thanks for watching uh, for those of you who've been following the journey i appreciate it um, we're going to talk a lot more about like things that can be interpreted as dog abuse. What is dog abuse? What's taking things too far and all that stuff. Cause you know, I want people to, if they're going to use all these things to be very, very safe with them.